Science centers can be found all around the world. These havens of research and technology are a great way to learn a little bit about the wonders of science, but they aren't exactly where you'd expect to find video game developers. Funnily enough, that's exactly what I found here at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle. This amazing modern museum is all about discovery, teaching people about the brilliance of science through touch and interaction. And some of the exhibits are using the very cutting edge of technology. So you're the founder of Hyperspace XR. What is it? Uh, imagine being able to walk into a world where everything is fully virtual and fully physical at the same time. So it's really about large-scale walk-through um, VR experiences where you can feel heat and cold and wind and smell and touch all while walking through a story. Oh man, I smell smoke. There's fire. Oh no. Can you tell me a bit about the technology that's used in Hyperspace XR? When we take a look at the um, headset, you can see there's cameras on the front of the headset that track the environment. So we have patterns all throughout the environment that it says, okay, I've seen that pattern before, so you must be standing right here. And it does that, you know, thousands of times. AR is augmented reality, where you have a physical a world that you can see through the lens, and then you augment that with adding something on top. And then VR is usually traditionally inside the headset fully. And what XR is, is extended reality. So it adds both together, so you're fully virtual inside the headset, and then you have a whole bunch of really physical effects that you can actually touch and feel as you walk around. What are some of the advantages of people being able to see the way that it's grown over time? Uh, I think it helps for people to understand how difficult it is to put something like this together. It's like you usually see projects and they're done and they're complete and they're like, wow, that's amazing, I wish I could do that. And it's awesome for kids or even you know anybody sort of in their progression in their career to go, Wow, look at all of the pieces. It's interesting to see how they react what you, to what you built. So you pop something new into the experience, you put a couple people through, and if they kind of just go, ah, you know, that's not really what I was hoping for, then you can immediately make a change, test it again on the next group. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Can I have a go? Yeah, absolutely, let's do it. Okay, so you put this on just like a regular backpack. Oh, wow. Down the alley. No, 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 no. Like that. Oh, wow. There's like little fireflies about, too. I can feel the cobblestone under my feet. I'm in a magic world. I can feel the wind blowing from this big open space. So there's real walls here. <sighs> I'm touching the fireplace that's right in front of me and I can feel the heat coming from the flames. Although, even though I can't see it, I assume they're not real flames. <laughs> we really felt like everyone will be touching the floor and so we wanted to make sure that as you move through different spaces you kind of get that feeling that you actually transported to another room yeah. same thing with temperature and um, smells and that kind of thing so it really makes a huge difference when you step from one space to another she's crawling out the door <laughs> that's a first well, that was Hyperspace XR, and it's really incredible to see the difference between XR and VR or AR. So it looks like VR in the headset, but it's much more real because you've got tactile things that you can walk around and touch. It's also got none of the motion sickness that can sometimes come with VR because you're actually moving through a space. So in that regard, I like it a lot better. And I also think that the inside out technology is really cool because that motion tracking does away with all kinds some cameras and it just lets you feel much more organic in a space. It's really cool technology and I can't wait to see how this changes games in the future. May I come into your... <laughs> oh my gosh.